ownership, but bitrate is like massive for actually how the image turns. Also, the plus, uh, there's Phantom 4. Good morning everyone, how are you all doing? Today it's Thursday, it's uh, 9 a.m. right now. I just woke up, edited that video, and as you could see outside, last night it was snowing. Unfortunately, this is the worst kind of weather because uh, ice and snow started melting. There is no signs of uh, snow where it should be. There is only mud and it's dirty. It's ugly, the worst weather possible. It's wet but cold. That means I'm not able to train outside. And that means I'll have to ride indoor. Today on schedule is to do a strength training. Uh, six intervals of five minutes. Many of you have asked how I do some types of trainings. Well, for this today's video, this is how it goes. Strain trainings, I do always like this. Uh, cadence is from 50 to 60 RPM. Uh, my heart rate, I don't uh, monitor it always, but it shouldn't go above 165 beats per minute because uh, that's not how the strain training should be. It it has to be in the lower segment of heart rate, so you work on that uh, strength and not on the high intense. And uh, as I said, I do it for 5 minutes, now I did it for 10 minutes, there are lots of variations. As I will do it on the indoor trainer, that means I can much better tempo it, so I don't get those variations. Uh, for me it's from uh, 260 to 280 watts. But of course that all depends on your weight and your current, you know, form. And uh, between the intervals right now I have 3 minutes. Uh, in those 3 minutes don't, don't stop, never stop between intervals. Don't go too easy, you really need to continue that some kind of effort on your leg. So you still have that uh, blood flow keeping it going so it eliminates those fatigue uh, elements and you rest up uh, faster. And I will spend around an hour and a half on that whole training. But if the weather will be better, I will do it outside and it will last for three hours. I will continue E2 training after that. Uh, they predicted snowing much more uh, to, during the day afternoon. And if it gets very good snow, then I will get out on my mountain bike and ride a little bit in the woods. Uh, yeah, it wasn't able yesterday because as I said it was wet and muddy. But right now I'll immediately do this. I didn't eat too much. I don't do any time, uh, you know, starving trainings. But to, uh, today I just ate some rice cakes, about, I don't know, 300 calories maximum and drank coffee. It won't be fully enough for the training, but it will keep me, you know, satisfied and feel full just about it that I can eat after the training. And when I finish training, afternoon, I will go out, uh, meet some friend and stuff that I didn't meet for a, for a longer time. And uh, we will do some for this PC. We will check out some stickers that I will try to wrap around, you know, case and speakers as I was uh, talking about. Uh, maybe buy some LEDs, but I don't have a soldering iron right now because my old one broke. I don't want to buy that one right now to spend too much money again and I will work on the college project because I started yesterday now it's right time to kick it because outside is so bad weather and uh, let's start with the training and now when that's all done I just had some lunch rested up a little bit and I've got one idea how to start uh, something uh, about PC some uh, modding and first thing I tried is to wipe out this uh, logos from the speakers, those are genius speakers, but I really don't care about the logo and it really, I want that stealth look as you as you can see here on the PC, there are not many logos and I will delete this one from the from the speakers I will clean them all, of course, I know which commands here are for what I don't care about that, so I will do this right now for this one I definitely don't recommend doing this with some more expensive speakers you can damage some plastic with this this is uh, you know for the nail cleaner but uh, it worked very well for this one I will do just this for the, the, the other ones
shit, I just spilled all this. Oh my god, what an idiot. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's go wash this immediately. Well, at least I will wash it now. By the way, definitely I was thinking about buying the other mouse pad because these colors really don't fit with this all black setup. I will try to find some, you know, wide, wide uh, mouse pad. It goes underneath keyboard and mouse also. With all this it will look much better. For now I have this one which I used a lot, a lot of time ago. It's small. I really, it really doesn't look good, but okay, now it will finish the job. Ha, no. Okay, I'm still going to have to polish that a little bit, but it looks much better now. Check this out. Yeah, that's telt. I would really like if I could clean this but uh, and this is sticker it's gravered in i cannot do that I, I yeah this has a clear coat above it uh, i would just mess it up uh, much if i try to clean it that has to stay but anyway it's much better now the keyboard so if i take out this sticker definitely it would have a small hole in there so i won't remove that it's not big deal but I would like it to have it more stealth, but anyway, it's okay. And now next step. Now this this red sleeve for the mouse really doesn't fit anything right now. And here's the rest of my cable sleeving that has left from the half X build. Definitely I have much more black left. And that's great because I need to sleeve some cables inside the PC. And why wouldn't I do them full full blank black? That's a good good uh, choice. I think that this build is becoming a blank black beast. That's nice name. Not nice name. Monster name. By the way, in case you are wondering what I'm watching on YouTube right now or listening, but I'm watching also, it's some lectures about uh, using uh, flashes on uh, photography. It's by BNH Photo. They have all kinds of sorts, you know, of the, the experts about that. And that's what I call productivity. You do some stuff, but I always, always, I rarely listen to music. I do when I want to listen to music. But since two years ago, I really started started listening to some, you know, education stuff, lectures, maybe some fitness, photography, anything. But it really, you know, boosts up your productivity. You learn while you do something else. First step of uh, mouse sleeving is, of course, to unplug it so you don't break anything go back around here and here it is red cable boom just take small piece of tape and alight them not all in one place so uh, they become a little bit thinner you know because it's not so easy to go this through this uh, because it's a very very low diameter cable Try to align them one by one, so they become, you know, a little bit extended, but thinner. But for taking out the cable is not as much important as it is for taking it back in. And yeah, this should work right now. Let's see. And now this is maybe the hardest part to put this through. You really need to take your time, slow by slow. You need to make it wider here where you want to pull it. Technique is something like this. You first, the new part that has to go on the, the cable, you push it a little bit so it becomes wider around the connectors and then you pull it on the cable. And that's, you'll, you just repeat that many, many times. You will become faster when it becomes, you know, more on the cable. But that's the technique. It's plugged in and working. Check it out. Black blank beast is much much more sick looking right now with this black sleeve. So sick. 
next thing to get sleeved is this PCI Express uh, 8 pin connector but that will wait a little bit maybe to the evening. Now I will go out with my friend and after that while I will be going home I will stop by some uh, wallpaper shop it has some good you know glass uh, stickers and stuff and I will check out some of them to see if there is uh, something that will be interesting for the build. So I just went in that uh, wallpaper shop but it seems they don't have the wallpapers that they declared on site and then unfortunately we don't have those wallpapers so I'll have to improvise something else but we will see. Definitely I'm thinking about making it myself with some combination of white, grey and black as the Unolson does. I'll try that to find maybe even with carbon texture, we will see. Definitely some nice snow here in park, but it would like much more nicer But it would look much more nicer if there is like 30 degree outside I just came from a friend and we walked for about 10 kilometers I took some great pictures but I'm freezing so much and now since in the training schedule I need to do for today about 3 hours endurance but since it's so much cold you know I did in the morning first session now it's time to do another one I will just easy spin for about one hour if I sustain a little bit more but Motivation is zero for that kind of stuff. I really like to be outside much more Please please spring come And that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. It means me a lot. Thank you all for great comments. It I really appreciate that. I'm glad that so much you like it. The channel is growing more and more. Really, thank you. Please click that button if you don't mind. It really, really helps me a lot to find more friends to keep this channel you know on a higher level it will boost my my uh, confidence to make a med much better videos and see you in tomorrow's video adios